Uh, hi, everybody. I would like to introduce a new topic today, the rank of a matrix, which is used by linear algebra. And uh, also in some cases, it's used by other uh, sciences also. So today we are going to find uh, the rank of a matrix with size three by three. So rank of a three by three matrix. So how we can uh, write it, A is equal. Let's let me explain what's the rank first of all. So A is equal, let's take such a matrix, for example, one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, and uh, seven, eight, nine. Let's take such a matrix. So in our case, if you know uh, what's the rank for this matrix, the rank is that it is the number of linearly, linearly independent rows or number of linearly uh, independent columns. So for example, we have got three here. Uh, you see three rows. So uh, it's obvious to think that the rank will be less than equal to three. So it can be three, it can be two, it can be one uh, also. There is also the zero rank case. The zero rank case is when all the matrix has got the zero elements. So today we are going to discuss a new method, which uh, is called minor method how to rank, to find the rank of these of such matrices. So we are going to use uh, here vanishing minor method. So what's the idea of this method? The idea here is that we take one, one, two by two, let's take one, two by two minor. For example, M, let's denote it by M. M is equal, and we calculate the determinant, one, two, four, and five. So you can see here, if you calculate the determinant here, it's going to be one times five minus two times four, it's cross. So it's going to be uh, minus three, yes? Five minus eight is minus three. We, it's not equal to zero. So uh, we are interested in minus, which are not zero, yes? So minor here is not zero. So we can use this minor for our calculations. And uh, in this case, rank can be two, but we don't know exactly if it's two or not. We are going to check it. In order to check it, we are taking a bigger, a bigger matrix, a bigger minor, yeah, which has got the, uh, which has got the this minor uh, in it. So the minor which covers all, all these one, two, and four, five is the determinant of A itself, yes? So determinant of A, you can see it is one, two, four, five. So we have this uh, minor uh, inside of this uh, bigger determinant. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So obviously you can see our minor is here inside. So we are interested in the number numerical value of this determinant. Let's calculate this determinant determinant one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine. So we know from our previous, uh, we know from our previous lectures that uh, in order to calculate this three by three determinant, we can apply different methods, yeah? And one of the methods is that we use as a Sardis method. So it's the idea of this method is like one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we put two columns, two columns next to our determinant. So, so what we do next, we are going to do the positive signs. Yeah, it's, it's going to be some, something like this. So it's positive. It's positive again. It's positive, yeah. And we are going to have the negative signs negative sign. So let's calculate it. Let's do our calculation. So first of all comes the positive size. So one times five times nine, yeah? Let's write one times five times nine plus two times six times seven plus uh, three times four times eight minus uh, again, two times four times nine. We, we pass to the negative Factors two times four times nine minus one times six times eight 
minus uh, three times five times seven. Let's calculate. It's interesting for me. Are we going to get here zero or not? So one times five times nine is 45 plus two times six times seven. It's going to be 80, 84 plus three times four times eight. It's how much? Uh, it's going to be 80, 96, yeah? Minus two times four times nine, yeah, 72 minus one times six times eight. It is going to be how much? Uh, so uh, we know that it's 50. Yeah, it's 48 minus three times five and times seven. It is 104. So let's calculate it. 45, uh, yeah, 45 times 84 times 96. Uh, if you add this three, how much we are going to get? Uh, let's calculate it, 45 plus 84 plus 96. Uh, by adding and subtracting, we are going to get, yeah. It's going to be 225 minus 72 minus 48 minus uh, 105. Yeah, it's going to be how much? Zero. Yeah, so we we are sure that we get zero here. What does it mean? This determinant actually is equal to zero. So from this overview, we get that the determinant which covers our small minus is equal to zero. So what does it tell us? According to this minor method, then the rank is two here because it's the it's the non-zero non-zero determinant here, uh, and its size is two. So it's two by two. You know, it's two by two matrix. So that's why the rank is here is two. Hopefully, that was. Uh, we are going to continue this topic, by the way, in our next videos with higher uh, with higher determinants. Uh, preferably four by four. We are going to show it here, how to find it. But it's not important. You should be aware that it's not important to have uh, the square matrices here. It's not important. Let's see one more uh, case where the matrix is not square, yeah? For example, let's write such a matrix. A equals two, three, six, one, four, five. Let's find the rank of this matrix. Uh, again, what we do, we are interested in one minor. We can take any minor. For example, we can take this minor here. Or we can we can take this minor here. So th that depends on our selection. So let's take this minor. Minor is equal to 3, 1, 4, which is 8 minus 3 is how much? 5. This is not 0. So we are interested if we have any more bigger size determinants which cover this uh, cover this minor. Obviously, you can see that there is not a bigger size uh, determinant. So the only bigger determinant here is two, three, one, four, or uh, size two determinant. So uh, it tells us that if this if this is not zero, then uh, by this method it uh, it says that the rank here, the rank of matrix A is uh, two because two by two gives us uh, non-zero result. Hopefully you enjoyed these uh, explanations. I'm going to add here some more videos. Do not forget to uh, subscribe to the channel to get more and more videos. Thank you for watching. Take care.